Proceed his long range and mid range with all the projectiles, an amazing aerial, an amazing uh, ground game. Yeah, Komei putting T3 Dome off stage, just gonna chase off. Resetting back to the stage. Get this edge guard. Oh my god, that's gonna be so hard for T3 Dome. If Komei keeps taking out his stocks like that, he's gonna make T3 Dome's life miserable, man. Nice, good parry, and knowing that he was in enough range to go for that up out of shield. Woo! Oh, great, because you know that if the actual cross yeah. would have hit him, would have popped up in that range to yep. convert to the up smash. Yeah, and I've seen T3 Dome get that, T3 Dome get that conversion time and time again. But Komei's continuing this pressure right here. Switching to Jump Monado. See, just patiently waiting for his opponent to pick an option. And T3 Doe just throwing out his whip, man. Continually, yep. there's that forward air, not gonna be enough. He uses the axe, axe. it does. Axe is gonna at, do it. At that percent, it's gonna be the one where it kills mainly, yeah. but usually lower than that percent. It's actually gonna pop up at a really rough angle to still be able to recover on stage. Right. Okay. Nice, fourth throw. Wait for his opportunity on the edge guard. There's gonna be the bust arc. Gets the neutral air, but doesn't find out much of a conversion. Oh, hard punish with the up smash. And in Buster Art, so he takes extra damage. Nice, good stuff from Kome. He was waiting for Ooh, T3 Dome okay. to make the escape from the, from the ledge. Actually, didn't get the KO, not even in uh, Smash Monado. Nice. nice, punishing out of shield with on the cross up with a down tilt uh, using the air slash. I mean, you mentioned the matchup against the. Um, Hero, this oh. is kind of the matchup against oh. right, the Belmonts. Just hold shield yeah. a little bit longer. Oh, for sure. Kind of, there's just like, you don't have no option. You're like, it, it, when Richter is coming at you with a barrage of projectiles, cons yeah. constantly you need to shield, you have to use that walk up shield method, right? Mm -hmm. Play the slow game. And that's what we're seeing from Kome. Look at how slow he's playing compared to how Tremendu was able to handle the hero matchup. Yeah. They're both demonstrating their knowledge of, okay, we need to play a little bit slower around these projectiles, around these specials. Guys, able to understand, okay, the oh. cross is coming back out. Double forward air here, and he waits for the option from the ledge. Okay, bounces off his shield with the down air magnet, just to make his way onto the platform. Up smash here, uh, excuse me, up air. Spot dodging through that forward tilt. Uh -oh, smash smash art. art, nope, missed the grab here. Cycling through the jump art, just to make sure he can reach back with the air slash. So T3 Dome definitely has a very steep mountain to climb right here. He finds the cross for a little bit of added damage. However, he's trailing by a significant amount, a full stop between the two, and his life nearly expired. The forward air getting him off stage. I mean, that's the life of a Richter man. man. Yeah. That's the life of a Belmont man. You kind, on, on you the kind of just have to hold those when you're up against the character who can so easily chase you off stage, right? Yeah. He has speed art, he has jump art to make it back. He has really good recovery and a enormous sword to yeah. just swing at you and knock you off the off the stage. And like I mentioned earlier, right, that's the one thing that the Belmont seem to really struggle against is the fact that they can't deal with that close range pressure. But when it comes to mid range and long range, they do excel at that. But off stage game, not the greatest in the game. They do have one of the longest tethers in terms of angling the aerial, the forward air with a 45 degree angle, they are able to reach. But when it comes back to hold the horizontal and the vertical recovery, it's gonna be a little bit much more left to be desired here. But we'll see how T3 Dome can definitely adapt this time around now that it's got Battlefield. Yeah, let's see how he's gonna make a use of these platforms. It, in one case, it's, it's good for him because he can hang underneath them and continue to throw his projectiles, uh, making it a lot harder for for Komei to actually approach, right? Mm -hmm. Normally, uh, Richter is throwing out the cross, throwing out the axe, and you kind of have to come at Richter from above, right? right? Jump over the cross. But when the cross is coming on the ground and the platform is over Richter to protect him, that's so much harder for Komei to actually get through. Exactly, go down there. All right, Komei hitting the double hits of the up air on the platform. Switching up Buster Art, and I like that stall with that, the jump. We need to see how T3 Dome is going to react to it, but T3 Dome gets the first hit there. <laughs> T3 Dome is definitely making a great use of a lot of his aerials, too, and he's making sure that if Koma is going to be jumping out there, there is going to be a whip in his face very I close to possible. The slow walk away from the holy water. Koma is just exercising slow. perfect patience, and he's getting the beautifully ex executed punishes as well, finding that first stock already. Exactly. 158% here on Komei at the ledge. He is not afraid though, jumps out immediately to avoid everything coming at him, the holy water and the uh, X. 
Axe coming through again, and no second option. No, I'm surprised I didn't see the Holy Water just at the ledge to apply some extra pressure. Oh. But catching the jump with the Axe, it is so hard. I mean, Richter, Belmont, they have the best ledge trapping in the game free. Yeah. Down throw. I like it. Smash Art looking to get that extra knockback, and he dips a little bit low so I can catch Chief oh, going that up beat. And dodges. that's it. Nope, yeah. that's it. Oh, yeah, he made it back. Yeah, the uh, early up B right there, really crucial for T3 and Dome to make it back. He had no jump. He air dodged towards the stage just to live a little bit longer. Um, Komi actually saved him a bit in that situation. Yeah. Had that uh, forward air landed, T3 was done. Nice. Okay. Speed Art, he's able to definitely catch up with T3 Dome in a matter of seconds. Able to close up the gap much faster. Right. The Art has run out into jump Art. And we're seeing a much even game this time around. It's, I'm telling you, these uh, platforms make it so much harder for uh, Kome to maneuver around mm -hmm. uh, Richter's game plan. Uh-oh, getting caught by the Holy Water, avoiding a second one with a roll in. Ooh, hitting on the ledge with the forward air, chasing off stage with another one. Oh, not enough. Too far gone. 111 here on Kome, though. His stock is... All but surely erased, but... Komei I mean, one one confirm coming out from TJ yeah. Dome, and that's what he was looking for, right? The holy water into the up air. He knows all he needs is a confirm. Great use of back air. Sets up the axe there in case Komei tries to make for a play field like that early. Great use of angle forward air, yeah. calling up the aerial. Oh, okay. Dips way too low. Isn't able to make it back to the air slush. And yeah, you see T3 Dome making really good utilization of his aerials. He's Belmonts can angle their uh, forward air up and down exactly the same as their back air. Um, and that's one of the things that T3 Dome is known for. He's really good at getting those angles. Yeah. Okay, here's an air slash. Great out of shield punish for Kome. Consistently using it throughout the match. It's uh, one of his fastest options and it's a, it's a good get out me option because it sends your opponent far enough back that they're not going to be able to punish you for it. And with a platform to land on too, even safer for Komei. Buster Art. The onslaught of aerials and projectiles. Is oh, that was a good possible. call out from T3 because he knows Komei was going to try to make a play for that platform possibly. And that the shield art. Very similar to Komei's. To, to Schultz, uh, uh, Richter has a... Uh, up B out of shield, that's pretty pretty decent as well. Komei oh, trailing in percent right oh. here, getting caught by the uppercut one more time. It may be a little bit stale right now, so I'm doubting its KO potential, but if he gets caught near the, the on top of one of these blast rolls, that may be his death. No, he's able to reach. Ooh. I like it, makes an opportunity. As soon as he sees the holy water hit the shield, he makes an opportunity to make the escape. Shield art, he's able to be able to survive oh, longer. And he's just spamming that up tilt. Doesn't find its mark though. The shield art, definitely the right call here for Komei. Now he's gonna use speed to make sure he's able to move in and he's out of go. Richter's he's range. Go stage. Oh, he wanted that forward, able to force the cross at the last second. Ooh. And he she did him try to confirm off the holy water and he missed the mark. And Yo, that forward, forward throw. throw. No way! And T3 Dome does it, bringing in a game three here against Komei. And the what a turnaround from game one. Off. What yeah. a turnaround from game one. I mean, I'm telling you, that, that Battlefield pick was excellent. I, he made a use of those platforms so perfectly. However, now it's Komei's counter pick. And you see, he's going to Pokemon Stadium 2, mm -hmm. which may not be as beneficial for T3 Dome. So let's see if he's able to pull out another victory against Komei and get the upset here at Switch Fest. Keeping up with our lo loser side on the side of this bracket, he is now currently in loser semis awaiting the winner of a couple of losers matches. We do have PSI guy and K9 as Bruce in losers as well. He did lose to ho a D hockey. I'm not sure if that's the same hockey from Texas. I would have to double check with you guys if we yeah. can see him on stream. We might actually uh, get a chance because the winner of Koma and T3 Dome will go on to fight hockey in winner's finals to make it out to top 48. Brilliant stuff. And now we have our final game between T3 Dome and Koma. 
Okay, and if you guys are wondering a little bit about T3 Dome, right? He, I mentioned how he was part of the UCI crew. Yeah. Um, that it does include players like Soul X and Rafi. Yeah. Uh, two great, really great players who have been making pretty solid names for themselves in the local scene. Especially Rafi. I know he's one of the best Bowsers we have. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he was the highest placing Bowser at Evo, yep. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, also, very strong school as a, as a Smash community. They're a very strong school. Yes. There's the Holy Water into the S Smash. G3 Dome, one step closer to making this upset possible. The dream is alive, and Komei chasing deep off stage to make I, sure that I mean, happen. he definitely, T3 Dome, unranked, able to beat up key. If this is a win over Komei, one of the one of the best shulks out there, this is going to be pretty big for his resume as a career in Smash. Yeah. And as I was saying, UCI actually has a really good resume as, as a school overall. They got uh, to uh, grand finals of the Collegiate, mm -hmm. CS Star League, uh, crew battles at Shine. Yeah. Uh, all of them placed really well. well oh, he wanted that well. forward air, but he's not able to get at the last second. Back air, that'll do it. Yeah. The only, end line from the Holy Water. Only 18% on Komei right here, making really good uh, usage of that stock. Not letting the lead escape him. He's going to get out of Buster Art. Oh my god, that damage. Really. Tossing the cross backwards to make sure it comes back on the way. He's waiting for the Monado stack to start yeah. making a recover. You do have a you do have to wait about a 16 to 18 seconds for them to actually come back. Each one is a little dodging different. through the grab attempt. Really smart stuff from T3 Dome, knowing what was coming and using his foresight to avoid it. We saw how game one went for Tony, right? With, with an early edge guard like that, he's able to take things against. T3 Dome, but the thing here is that he hasn't found any play like that. Shield Art because he's Oh, there it is! He's good, he's good, yeah. Oh man, he air dodges through it. The weight change in Shield Art was yeah. so detrimental there. Dash attack nearly doing him in right here. This ledge trapping is phenomenal. He has to wait, yeah. Oh, and he tried to make a play around Dude, to the stage. Kome cannot get back to the stage. There's the axe and two stocks to one for T3 Dome. Only at 41% on his second stock. Kome has to make something happen fast. He has to make this play. All right, a bit of re reversal right here, just not letting him land for a couple of seconds. Uh, he kinda, that, was a little too, that was a little too early. I kind of wanted to see him stay on stage and then wait to see how Richter was going to react to his edge guard. We're, we're kind of seeing Kome make off-stage plays to no avail. And I yeah. do like them, but the problem is that T3 Dome already knows he's going to keep going off stage. Yes. That allows me to go for the tether and still make the recovery. I have yes. nothing to fear. And not only that, but because he goes for such a risky play, which is respectable, he ends up off stage while T3 Dome mm -hmm. gets to set up his ledge trap with exactly. the holy water, using the whip, and that puts Kome in such a bad position. They 8% T3 Dome still on a pretty healthy stock. Of course, that may not matter if Komei is just able to get him off stage and get the right punish. There's the back air to, to do so. This time he stays. That's what I want to see. Adaptation here. And he reads the fact that, you know what? Now T3 Dome has a disadvantage. He's at the ledge. This is my opportunity to take things around. That's the adaptation we have to see from Komei in order for him to make it out here. All right. We're back to our last stocks here. Game to, oh, number three. T3 Dome still playing phenomenally. A preemptive upbeat. Goes unpunished. Nice, lands with neutral air because he knows how slow that is and still can land with a hitbox. Back air. Look at how Koma has slowly turned this around between him and Buster Art. Last time Buster Art was on, it was definitely the one thing where he would take more percent. Speed Art. Get the grab, but instead he goes for the forward smash. He wants percent and the edge guard. Ooh. That was the opportunity, but he did not make the chance to swing. He didn't let it rip. Yeah. Okay, you gotta rip it off like a bandit. Smash, smash Art is activated. Stay on, he has, situation. He has to stay on stage. Look at that fear in T3. He has to respect him. He has to go back oh. to that spot in the corner. That was a really interesting play. There it play. is. There he it put is. Off stage for it, man. I'm the surprised. Adaptation. I'm surprised that T3 Dome went for the cross in the uh, off stage mm -hmm. when when uh, Kome was so close to him. So yeah. That actually spelled the f his fate, right? Yeah. That, that was the end of it, right there. Got put off stage and Kome getting the edge guard with the forward. Air. Exactly. Taking. A very, very narrow victory <laughs> in game three. And I talked about how the adaptation was not being made by Komei earlier. Hashtag right? SoCal on ring. <laughs> that's true, that's true. They're coming out here. They're coming out here strong. More than the Let's PR. Go. Let's go, dude. But the one thing, like I said earlier, too, is like you have to understand that adaptation that wasn't being made until the very last second when Komei said, like you said it yourself, right? The risk reward factor, it's not that great. No. It's not that great. I'm literally letting T3 go ahead, come back on the stage, set up the edge guard while I'm still coming barely back with my air slash. Yeah. That's too much time wasted and when I could have had control the entire time. And it, it was, I guess, a risk that Komei was willing to take because at the very last second when it came down to the nitty gritty, Komei adapted and he did exactly that. He stayed on the stage. Yeah. Let 
let T3 Dome get back to the ledge, but made sure he put him back off the stage and exactly. got, got and the hit that mattered. So though, T3 Dome honestly wasn't too far off, and no. he kind of knew that Kome was going for those options. That's why he kept going for Tether. Coming back to now who we're seeing up on stage going to be Eon versus Rivers. Looking at their bracket, unfortunately, one Shulk, make, Shulk, one Shulk main will come up to the rise, and the other must fall. Yeah. Tremendo Dude lost to Rivers 2-0. And Rivers did have to fight Gabe, Pipa, and this is going to be winner's finals. Looking at Eon, he only had to fight PL, uh, and PL had to fight BBW, and P, the Jigglypuff from, from Japan. In Dang. Losers, we have Lubu, who got sent in front to, uh, by Tremendo Dude. Tremendo Dude is in Losers' quarters, so if Tremendo Dude may be fighting Lubu, PL, or Gabe yeah. in winner's semis, if he's able to make it out.